What's happening guys? Welcome to the Rebel Workshop. Now before I start talking about today's video, I just want to thank everybody for your continued support. All those likes, comments and views, I really do appreciate every single one of them. I know that sounds a bit ominous, but don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. But there might not be any bold videos for me in the next month or so. That's because we're going on holiday. Finally, after two years, we're getting to go away. But next week, we're heading to LA for about 11, 12 days. And while we're in LA, I can't believe I'm actually saying this. I've been wanting to do this for so long. But we're going to celebration. Yeah, we're going to Star Wars celebration. I really can't wait. I'm hoping to bump into a few other people while I'm there. And if you do recognise me, come up and see what's happening. You might not be able to understand me, but I will try and tone down my accent just a wee bit. But yeah, if you come up and say hello, who knows what will happen. I might even give you something. As I said, I'm hoping to bump into some of the fellow Star Wars room builders. Hopefully that does happen, because I know a lot of the guys are going. But anyway, back to this build. So what am I doing this time? I'm doing a wee bit of a deep dive. This is something that is not very obvious and it's not been seen that much. What am I talking about? The most Isley Cantina sign. Let's do this! So the first thing I have to do is actually find a decent image of the sign. Now in A New Hope, you hardly see the sign. You actually see just a wee bit. But, with the release of The Mandalorian, you get to see it a wee bit better. So in the first series, you see it here. It's not the best, but it's not the whole thing. But in the second series, I think it's the second or third episode of the second series, he has to take the frog lady, transport the frog, frog lady with her eggs. But he goes into the cantina at night and it's lit up and you can see it pretty well. Again, it's still not the greatest because you can't see the colours properly. But thankfully, in one of the behind the scenes books for The Mandalorian, there's a pretty good image of it in there. So that's what I've used. So I jumped into Illustrator and drew up the lettering. This is what I came up with. So for the size of the actual sign itself, I'm going to do like a border around it. It looks like the Tatooine walls. Then this will be set behind on a bit of white material, something white and the letters will be all painted. To get the size of it, I did have the idea of putting it on the outside of the workshop above the door. And it's the same size space that I did the Death Star inspired wall panel light. Now I'm not 100% sure I'm gonna actually mount it up there, but if I design it to fit up there, I can eventually put it up there. So after printing this out on A4, that's not big enough for the sign. So instead I printed it out sort of the A3 in size, and I think that's a better actual size. And I've did the measurements for the space as well. So it's crude wee sketch, that's what it's going to look like. It'll be layered. So with a couple of different layers, but the first thing I need to do is cut out this big bit. And what I'm going to use is my usual favourite material, Sintra, Fomex, whatever you want to call it. Then I'll have to figure out what this inside cut is going to be size wise, but I'll cut the main frame out first. Just 
just so it's quite sturdy, I've decided I'm going to use the 5mm Sintra instead of the 3mm. See the 3mm bends quite easily, whereas the 5mm is a wee bit more stronger. That's this. Cut out. It's massive. I might not be able to film this whole thing size-wise, but... That's how big it is. So I need to decide the size of the cut out frame for that. A couple of options. I can cut all the way the same all the way around, including the edge down here. Or I could do the top and the bottom the same height, but then bring in the edge a wee bit. So to paint the letter in, I've actually had some stencils printed out, some vinyl stencils printed out and I've kind of just measured up so this is bang on in the middle then I could try and figure out the border frame shape So after a wee bit of measuring and looking I have came up with this size of a frame. So I've done about 30 mils down the bottom. Originally I did like 30 mils from the side to about here, but it just didn't look right. Then I looked at the pictures of the actual sign, and this seems in more proportion to what the sign is like. The border is closer to the bottom of the text than it is to the side of the text. So this is what I'm going to go with. So I'll cut this out now. And that's it cut out. So I just need to cut out another layer to go underneath for the lettering. But what I'll do, I'll cut up some of this just to add a bit of thickness, an extra wee thickness to that because it's not a bit thin for my liking but I've had a wee stand off just behind there and give a wee shadow box kind of effect around the outside so that's all the bits cut out Get some spacers behind it as well just give it a wee shadow box effect yeah and the wee Gap does mean if I want to, I might be able to put some LEDs in here. At the moment, I don't think I will. But it's also an option. So that's the background painted white. I just used a white primer, but it was way too matte for my liking. So I then gave it a coat of matte varnish and it's came up with a nice a nice matte finish. So I'm now going to stick this guy on, mask up the rest of it, then paint it blue. the stencil down and it's time to paint the blue layer so there is a slight overspray as you could see the stencil just wasn't sticking down well enough unfortunately but I'm fine with that so I'll just leave this to dry then it'll be time for the red stencil to go on. And that's the stencil on for the red parts. And 
that's the red done. Again, there's a couple of wee over sprays, nothing too bad. But I think that looks great. So with the lettering painted, it is now time to work on the frame. So for the frame, I'm going to mix up something that I hope will look like the walls of the buildings on Tatooine. I've seen a few things online that different people have used. So I'm going to do something similar. So I'm going to use some, some plaster, some water, some PVA glue and some paint. If I something special, I thought I would try and add is this. Now this just looks like a bag of sand, which it kind of is. But this is genuine Tatooine sand. Let me explain. So in 2010, I went on holiday to Tunisia with my parents and we visited the Star Wars Mos Espa set. And while we were there, we collected a load of sand. So this is genuine Tatooine sand. There's even bits of the actual buildings in there. Because they were all just falling apart, so there is genuine set pieces in here. So I'm going to add some of this to the mix and see how it works. Now I have not done this before. I don't know how well this will work. I'm going to give it a try. So I'm going to start off with some plaster powder. Make a mess. I have no idea what ratio to, the, to do this in, so I am just making it up as I go along. Add in some PVA glue. Again, I have no idea if that's the right ratio or not, but we will see. I'm going to add in some of this Naples yellow. It's close enough to this sand colour. Some water. And add some of this sand. like a good colour. Colour wise it's not too bad but what I might do is just add a wee bit more white. It's a good match I'd say. Yeah I'll give that a try. Yeah let's see how this works. leave this to dry and see how it looks once it is dry. Well that seems to have worked. That looks pretty good. There is a wee bits of the white coming through. But what I'm gonna do is mix up a darker colour like this wash. Give a quick one over with that. That should give it a bit of different tonal variations as well. So again, since I've not done this before, I'm really not sure what I'm doing. So I'm just making this up as I go along, hoping it's going to work out. So I've made up a wash of yellow ochre and some raw sierra. spray water bottle just with water in it that might just squirt it down a bit but as long as I get rid of these 
we wipe it. down as well, maybe. So far, this side compared to this side, yeah. So I'm just going to carry on with this and let it dry. So for the lettering panel, I'm going to do something similar, but again, I've made up a wash of this almost sandy colour. To start with I'm going to do my usual putting the paint on and dabbing it off with some paper towels. Then I'll do some more drippy marks using some water. Do a couple of drips. I'm not doing too many, I'm just doing a couple of wee bits. Now I'll just leave this to dry and see how it looks. So uh, some of the plaster mixture came off up the top where I was handling it. I think it had just been too wet with doing the with the weathering. So I put a wee patch on and I thought I may as well add a couple of wee more patches here and there. Because that's probably what would happen anyway. So I just need to leave this to dry properly. And that's it done. So there you go guys, that's it done. I think it looks amazing. I really love the texture, the wall texture that I did. As I said before, I had no idea what I was doing with that. That's the first time I've ever done that. And I just kind of made it up on the spot. But I'm really happy with it. Yes, I had to patch up a couple of wee bits. But I think that just adds to the look of it. 
The weathering turned out great, and I love all the wee drippy bits that are on it. And it looks like it's been out on a desert planet for years. Still not sure where I'm going to put it, but there's a few spaces in here. And as I said at the start of the video, if I wanted to, I could put it outside the door, because it still fits up there. And I might come back and put some LEDs in the sign. As I said, there is space for them, but we'll see. So guys, as always, thank you for watching. I always appreciate it. If you are going to Star Wars Celebration, you recognise me. I know not a lot of people watch these videos, but some people do. But come and say hi if you see me. Now please remember to subscribe, like, and hit that notification button. And I will see you sometime soon with another build on the Rebel Workshop.